FTV, um, definitely a game of two halves. That first half, Arsenal, excellent. Um, work rate, brilliant. Fight, brilliant. Created a lot of chances. Scored a great goal. But the second half, when they sort of made that switch, didn't they? They sort of made a switch, brought Jorginho on. They got a lot more control of the ball towards the end of the half. And then they came out in the second half and they, you had to say they were quite dominant. But you also got to look on it and say that we kind of gave them the goals as well, didn't we? It, you know, after all that hard work. Yeah. Well, you, game of two halves, I wouldn't really say that. I'd say game of first 30 minutes and then last 60. First 30, we were all over them. First 10, Reese Nelson was on to uh, Emerson, the left wing back. We got our goal, which came from a corner, but we won the corner from playing out of the back. Now, once we got that, we scored excellent. We, we were all happy. We, we wanted to carry on. They, uh, Frank Lampard made the change. He brought off Emerson. He went four at the back, and then Chelsea kind of took control. We let Chelsea have the ball. We didn't really press them as much, and then Chelsea started to come at us. Now, at the end of the first half, Chelsea had already committed 13 fouls, and I think they had three yellows. Now, I think loads of people here are going to say the referee, Jorginho, yeah, he probably should have got sent off for a second yellow card, but at the end of the day, he wasn't. So... In, in my opinion, the, the remaining 60 minutes after we after you made that change, Chelsea controlled the game and dominated and probably it probably deserved to win it. Yeah, but it is frustrating that you see a player. Now, I obviously, I've just seen it in the game. It looks so obvious that that was his second yellow card. Right? And the referee doesn't give it. And then you see him pop up at the other end with the equaliser, even though it was a big mistake by Leno. But it's frustrating when you see that, when you see now that they've got all this technology and all this. I don't know. I just, I don't know what the referee was thinking about. Well, it's, it's always the way, in it? The guy that doesn't get sent off, he'll score the winning goal, he'll score the equaliser. Yeah. He'll do something to contribute. Mm. But... You know, it, it shouldn't get to that point. Leno shouldn't have made the mistake. Obviously, he's, he's not meaning to do anything. But I think Mourinho said it before. The team that commits the most mistakes is going to lose the game. Or the team yeah. that commits the list. That, uh, we're still making lots of mistakes, exactly. aren't we? That's the problem. We, we did play well. Like, I'm not going to say we didn't play well. We, we tried hard. That's all we ask of the players. Mm. But at the end of the day, if you keep making mistakes, Chelsea are going to you know, capitalise on it. And, yeah. and that's what they did. And it's United next. Then that. It ain't going to get any easier. They're on a great run of form as well at the moment. And they play very similar to how Chelsea play with lots of pace, you know what I mean, the free, it's going to be a very similar game and all these games are coming thick and fast as well and those players at the end, there's some players out there look absolutely knackered. Nah, they did, they did look knackered mm. but I don't think Chelsea and Man United play the same way. Chelsea today had I think 60% possession, like they had a lot of the ball. Man United aren't going to want a lot of the ball, they're going to want to hit us on a break um, and you know, they're going to play in a different way but, but Chelsea today, you, you have to say they deserve to win because mm. we did work hard. You know, it, it probably kills us because they're probably still mm. in there singing now mm. about, oh, they've just be, they've nicked two goals in the last 10 minutes of the match. But ultimately, we didn't do enough to win the match. Yeah, we, we worked really hard. Everyone tried. Everyone was up for the fight. You know, Torreira played really, really well. Nelson played well. But we lost. So you, you got to look at the end of the day. We have to either get a point or we have to draw. The moment that um, Chelsea's equaliser went in, who did it look like more likely was going to get the next goal? Us or Chelsea? Because you've got to be honest, it probably was Chelsea, which is quite annoying. But at the end of the day, you know, we moved to Man United on, when is that, Wednesday? Yeah. First, and hopefully we can get the win, but it's just annoying that we've, we've lost now.